If you ever find yourself in a position where you become a caregiver, it can be overwhelming. That's why St. Patrick's Senior Center offers classes to help people get prepared and equipped to handle the task. Anita Kanakaris oversees caregiver training at St. Patrick's and tells us more about the programs they offer. Both of them are six weeks long. They meet once a week. Uh, the, the caregiver program for dementia is once a week for six weeks for two hours and the powerful tools for caregivers is once a week for six weeks for two and a half hours. And by and large, the response we get from people after taking part is, wow, I didn't know that I had choices. I didn't know you know, what, what my mother is going through. Now I understand a little better. I can deal with her behavior or I'm important too and I need to take care of myself. Depending on the medical state of the person you're caring for, it takes a lot of understanding, skill, and patience to help them. Tools you can develop by attending the training, which they offer for free. One of the programs that we offer to help caregivers through this is called Creating Confident Caregivers. It's specifically um, designed for caregivers who are caring for somebody with dementia still living at home. When we have the first session of the class, some people come in with the attitude, oh, mama's just being difficult, we never got along. But as the class progresses and they learn about the different stages and the losses that the person experiences, they lose their ability to reason. They lose their um, ability of perception. Um, they lose their ability to speak. And so when something happens around them, they may have a catastrophic reaction. The other class they offer is just as important because without these skills, the person you're caring for could suffer. The focus there is on the caregiver. So we show them some videos of people who have gone through this process um, to let them know, first of all, that they are not alone. And then we talk about, we talk about the losses that they've experienced. Maybe it's the loss of the relationship with a person. Maybe it's, if it's your spouse, maybe it's the loss of intimacy. The person doesn't recognize you anymore, and that's really tough. And then again, caregiving challenges can be so overwhelming. So we tell them, you have to take time for yourself. You have to care for yourself. You are important because if you don't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of that person that you're caring for? Larry McClure takes care of his 90-year-old mother, Minnie. He took courses at St. Patrick's to help him get prepared for the job ahead. Courses on various uh, events that could possibly happen. So we would do seminars or, or training exercises where we would learn the correct procedure on what to do if an event this would occur or that would occur. You think those things are helpful? I think they are. So far I haven't had to encounter any of those particular things. But if an event it should happen, then I would know what to do. Part of the training is uh, noticing the attitude, noticing if the patient is depressed or what have you. Just various things you have to look out for and know how to handle it, how to address it. As Larry's mom, Minnie, sits resting on her couch, he isn't far away. In fact, he lives in the same building she does to make sure he's close by in case she needs him. Do you need some water for your medicine? I don't need anything right now. So Larry uses this time to get on with the day's chores. Cleaning is part of his regular routine of taking care of his mother. I have to depend on Larry more so now because, see, sometimes when I wake up in the morning time now, if I have to raise up too quick, then the whole room goes to turn. You know, uh, I, they say I had a mild stroke at the brain. But with Larry by her side, just an elevator ride away, she feels comfort knowing she'll be taken care of. Well, I just thank God for him. Why is that? Because if it wasn't for him, I would have to get a stranger. And I don't be one stranger around me. Larry says taking care of his mom keeps him busy. There's a lot of traveling involved, you know. Have bills have to be paid, uh, different doctor's appointments that have to be met. He's my backbone, I'll put it that way. I couldn't have asked God for a better son. To help a loved one keep a sense of self-reliance and independence, Kanakara says they train caregivers 
to take note of what their patients can still do. Adrian Piner is manager of the Community Living Supports Program at St. Patrick's. She says caregiving can come with really unexpected emotional challenges for the caregiver. Some challenges we have uh, is they don't have enough time to themselves. So I either can put them in the respite, place them in a the respite program so that caregiver is allowed to get a break from the daily grinds of being a caregiver. I mean, that just eases the burden for maybe two and a half hours for that one day in the week. It's just about making those decisions and understanding what we need as caregivers. Because if you want to be an excellent caregiver, like Minnie says Larry is, you have to be ready to put in a lot of work and a little love. And there's nothing he won't do for me. It's nothing he won't do for me. I can call him anytime, a day or night. He gonna come see by his mom.